Namaste and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. And today we were so excited. Today we just found out Abhijit Banerjee won the Nobel Prize. So originally from India, now he's in the US and so amazing, amazing. You yes. know, such a great accomplishment for anybody to get this. And we're just so excited that um, he got this award for economics and we know it takes many, many years of research and just such dedication. And then to get this prize is such a huge, huge accomplishment for him, for all the work that he's done for those many years and for India. And it's just amazing. Like India is on fire. Yes. So many great things have been coming out of India and it's just been amazing. And we put together this quick little um, video about him getting the award and some of the other historical people that have gotten it as well from India that are from India and we're just so excited to share this with you and so let's start it up yes so Modi sends his congratulations to Abhiji Banerjee for his Nobel Prize and many many amazing Indians that yes. have won Nobel Prizes in Literature, in Physics, in Mother peace. Teresa, in Peace, of course. Economic yeah. Services. Exactly. So many of them. Wow. Yeah. Uh, medicine, Physics, chemistry. chemistry. Just amazing. So many different ones, too. Yeah. 2014. I mean, wow, even more. Ronald Ross, 1902 medicine, literature, peace, and the Dalai Lama, of course, for peace. Just amazing. Abhiji Banerjee. For a, born in Mumbai. We know Mumbai. Field is economics. Yep. For his experimental approach to alleviating global poverty. Just amazing. And yes. he was born in Mumbai. Now he's an American. Uh, his college in Kolkata and he taught at Harvard and Princeton and had many honors just amazing so yes. now his own words after receiving his award there's always a little bit of uh, hope in for what we do right. so it's not so many that, years of research I mean, governments are free to not use our evidence but to be honest I think my our experience over the last 20 years has been you know when you 20 years ago, you go and tell somebody in government, we're going to do a randomized control trial, and they look at you like you had just escaped from some <laughs> mental health institution. Uh, now they look at you and say that, okay, is that, is that expensive? Does it, has anybody else done it? Uh, can, you, can, can, you sh can you give me an example of somebody powerful who has endorsed it? But they ask the right kinds of questions, and, and we, we, we get to the second base, not always uh, all the way, but at least there is some sense in which um, they're open to the idea that evidence is valuable, that we know something, <laughs> and that might actually be useful to them. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I think we, we hope that we'll do, get to do more of the same. I, I, don't, I think, we, I think we'll, we are actually quite excited about what we are doing. This was not work that we did a long time ago. We're excited about what we're doing now, and it's, it's fun. We are learning new things. Um, I'm really excited to look at the results from our latest intervention. It's, um, so I think what I hope this will do is just open more opportunities to do more inventive things. I don't expect to do something entirely different. I think it, I'm co content with what, what I'm doing, enjoying it very much. So congratulations. Amazing, amazing. So we are so excited to share this with you. Yes. This is such an amazing accomplishment for him. And, you know, even at the end of his speech, he was talking about how he just loves doing it. And, um, you know, it's just something that he will continue to do. And it's exciting when, you know, you, you take your idea and, and the government doesn't completely laugh at you. Yeah. And, um, you know, asks you enough questions and then, I guess, gives you funding and, or maybe the, the okay to go ahead and, and try it out. 
And so it's just amazing that after all these years, he of research and um, he got the Nobel Prize. So what did you yeah. like about this, Anjali? So I know Daddy can really like relate to this since he's a scientist and it takes like a lot of hard work and dedication to do something like this. And even just like hearing it from a person, you did a great job mm-hmm. and you get this Nobel you prize. get this Nobel Prize for yeah. doing your work. And Which is a huge, huge honor. Yeah. Huge honor. And so I, I'm sure he is, you know, so excited about it. And we're so happy and so happy to learn about a lot of these other, you know, this, he's now the 13th uh, Indian origin yeah. Nobel Prize winner. And that's just amazing. And it just, you know, says so much about the culture and how, you know, education is a priority, you know, learning yeah. school, you know, whether, and a lot of, you know, was in medicine, there was a couple piece, so couple for the people, literature. yeah, literature, and, you know, just uh, physics and chemistry, mm-hmm. so just a lot of, you know, not simple, easy stuff, either dedicating your life to the people, like um, Mother Teresa, or, you know, these people that, that like um, Abhijit, that dedicate their life for, you know, economics or the sciences and, you know, run, you know, their research in hopes that one day, you know, good things will come from it. Yes. And so his, his ended with a very happy story that he got the prize. And, um, you know, it's just amazing. It's exciting for India. It's exciting. You know, everybody should be happy about it. And uh, we're so excited to share this with you. And I hope you guys like this. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below. Because the more you like it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.